We converted before, you know. We... All right. We just turn into kids, like at school. <laughs> the stupidest things can crack you up, and then you're gone. You can be gone for a good ten minutes, and that's a long time when the studio audience is sat there. OK, then, Tim. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what? <laughs> when you're acting opposite somebody who does something funny, it very easily it does make me laugh a lot. Sorry. <laughs> it's not so much what they do, it's the fact that they're looking at you like you you know that what I'm doing is funny. It's always the look. It's the twinkle. You can't cancel the ceremony, Janet. <laughs> I'm so sorry, okay. <laughs> it's hard because you wanna you wanna stop because the floor manager's getting very serious. Now come on, you know, and start. Come on now, get it round. We must respect the choice of the parents. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Tickled me so much. I've got a cup over my mouth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was Catherine making me giggle. It's always the quiet ones you've got to watch. Doobie, doobie, doobie. Meanwhile, back at the Archer, the beers are flowing and the cast are about to win the award for the worst, or is it the best, outtake ever. Sneaky bitch! How could she try and ruin my livelihood? Yeah, and when she orgasms, she makes a noise like this. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Don't blame that one on me! <laughs> <laughs> I saw you on Tesco! <laughs> oh, God! It was something like, when she has an orgasm, she does this. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> that evil cow! How dare she? Yeah, and when she orgasms, she makes it... Oh, sorry. <laughs> in rehearsals, I did a different noise. And then I was doing it to myself in the mirror, as you do. And I thought, oh, this one... So I thought, I'm just going to throw it in and see how they react. Yeah, and also, when she orgasms, she makes a noise like this. <laughs> Previously in the week, he'd done noises like, ah, and stuff, but when he made that noise, it just went absolutely insane. That evil cow, how dare she? Yeah, and also, when she orgasms, she makes a noise like this. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> absolutely took me and Ralph by surprise, and then we just couldn't stop laughing. Help him? How do you feel that you're sat here and you went, oh, oh, oh? <laughs> It's in the script! It's not my fault! Before they were saying, right, turn over, and action, he was already crying, so they couldn't do the shot of it, and I couldn't look at him, and I had to look at him. Five, four, three. <laughs> <laughs> Get on with it! You're crying! We're getting on for the 16th take. We had to remove all the other actors and just get him to do the noise. <laughs> They had to send me off. We'd have been there all night till the next morning. <laughs> it's not your fault, it's my fault. Say my <laughs> Yeah, and also when she orgasms, she makes a noise like this. <laughs> <laughs> now I've definitely said too much. <laughs> okay, thank you, Ralph. Yeah! Every time I've watched that and there's been someone in the room, I've gone, no one sat there, you know. I'm doing that to nobody. I couldn't have done it with him there. It was just, oh, God, it was hilarious. Two Pints is recorded in front of a studio audience, which means there's no canned laughter around here, and they absolutely love it when things go wrong. I come all the way from Bristol to see Two Pints hilarious. No, I love it when it goes wrong, because it's obviously not rehearsed, do you know what I mean? It's the best part. When they go wrong, they normally swear. <laughs> I've been to Two Pints uh, many a time before, been there, and I've got the T-shirt. <laughs> The studio audience absolutely love it when something goes wrong. That's the thing that really warms them up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the point of coming to see it live. You get to see the mistakes. Do you want a job? Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
it's often the biggest laughs we get on the night are from when uh, someone messes up a line. Gaz, your shit! <laughs> <laughs> but I bargained! Woo! Tick! <laughs> Only... Oh, no. Fuck off. Let me just try and carry on. <laughs> when you do mess up, the audience just give you a round of applause. And never, you never get a round of applause for messing up, usually, but, yeah. Uh, two pints, you do. We're all shit. <laughs> 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 Are you clapping for you? That's what I fucking agree. That's good. No, you're marvellous, darling. Sometimes someone in the audience will try and be on camera uh, by making a ha 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 like laugh when no one else is laughing. You even made me sleep with Janet just to get at you. <laughs> Sorry, who, who made the fuck that? Was that? <laughs> You get somebody that's a funny laugher. That's always one because you can't, like, you can't carry on if <laughs> if somebody's in the audience hacking away. <laughs> Stop it, seriously. <laughs> they like to live dangerously on the Two Pints set, and never more so than when it was broadcast live on BBC Three. We went behind the scenes to see how things were shaping up before the big day. When does the new series start? 13th of January and it's live. 13th of January on BBC Three, you say? What time would that be? 10 o'clock and it's live. Whoever's idea it was to do Two Pints Live, I want to shoot them. <laughs> That's right. At some point, some show on some channel is transmitting absolutely live. Who the fuck's that? <laughs> <laughs> Me and the producer and the director uh, we're talking about what's special to do next. And we've done a musical, we've done a horror, and... Um, a live episode seems like the next step. I can do things. <laughs> the cast spent hours in rehearsals getting their scenes right. It's all very well 